Hey guys, it's Preppy Mama here, and I just want to say welcome to my very first YouTube video. Today, we're going to make this cute little rustic love sign just in time for Valentine's Day. So for this project, you'll just need a couple things that were picked up at Dollar Tree. You'll need this little love art kit that was in the Valentine's section. You'll need this pineapple sign that I found in the home decor section and along with this little tin bless your home sign. So first we're going to take that little wooden house off of it. So in the back there's just two little screws. So you just unscrew those screws and then that little house will just pop right off. And then next I just wanted to get rid of that little rope hanger because we won't be needing that. So I just removed that and set that aside. And now for the pineapple sign. I just quickly removed that tag and then you'll see the front of it was covered in glitter. So I decided to just cheat and paint the back. Now you can sand all that glitter off if you want or you could try to paint over it. Um, but I just chose just to do the back. So I just gave that a quick coat of just black acrylic paint and it was paint that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. And you want to make sure you paint all of the sides and the base because we're going to use it as a have it as a standing up decor piece. Next was time to paint the love sign. So we're going to open up that kit. The only part of that you're going to use is the letters. So for this, I decided to paint the heart in the tutti frutti color. Again, that's acrylic paint that I picked up at Dollar Tree. So I gave the heart just a quick coat of the pink paint. And then for the rest of it, I just used that same black acrylic paint. Just painted all those letters. Okay, now it's time to assemble it. So you grab the metal piece and we're just gonna glue that to the black background on the sign there. So I just tried to find the center spot and where I wanted it, just added a little bit of hot glue and stuck that on there. Now, if you wanted it more permanent, you could use something like E6000, but I just used the hot glue and it held just fine. So now I decided I don't really like that pink. Once I seen it all together, I wasn't really happy with the way the pink looked. So I decided to cover the heart in this jute rope. And this is also rope that was picked up at the Dollar Tree. Now to get started, that rope will fray and come apart really easily. So I did put a lot of glue on the back and a lot of glue on the rope. And then I used, for me, I used a little screwdriver. You can use a spatula, you can use anything. Um, but I just wanted to make sure the end of that rope was really well covered in the glue. I didn't wanna have it all start to fray and come apart as we were wrapping it around. So once that's on there, we're just gonna start wrapping up the heart just stick that rope through the hole and just keep wrapping it around now I did apply hot glue every couple times I went around I just really wanted the rope to stay in place and with the heart being kind of a tricky shape it was sliding around quite a bit so just a little bit of glue every couple times I went around and I made sure that it stayed in place.
Okay, so now it's wrapped it wrapped all the way around. We're gonna try and trim off that edge there. And again, we're, we don't want it to fray. We don't want the rope to all come apart. So I used a rather large glob of glue again. And I used my little screwdriver there to really push the ends of that rope into the glue. And make sure they're all really well covered so that it holds and doesn't all fall apart. And Okay, for the next step, I took some chalk paint. It was the color Primitive by Americana Decor. And I just dry brushed a little bit of that all around the edges. I wanted to give it more of a distressed look. I didn't want it to be a solid black color. Now, if you like the solid black, you could go ahead and just leave it black. But I wanted it to look a little more distressed. My personal taste is more farmhouse, more rustic, so I love I love making my projects look, look a little more distressed. So then I took two of these little cubes, again from Dollar Tree, and just gave them a quick coat of black paint. We're going to use these little cubes for mounting our sign onto the tin. So just glue it on there. I wanted to give it more of a 3D kind of image, have it sit out a little bit from the tin. So just add a little bit of hot glue onto those. And there we go, there's our finished project. I think it's adorable. It's cute enough to have out for Valentine's Day or to leave out for everyday decor. Thanks for stopping by and checking out my very first video. If you could take a second and hit the thumbs up and I would love if you would subscribe so that YouTube can notify you the next time I upload a video and they could come back and check that out too. Thanks and see you on the next one.